Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And the topic for this week is about opening and saving um, embroidery designs and also opening and saving images and really opening and saving kind of all, any kind of file that you can open with the Floriani software. And so a little bit about open and save and a little bit about formats. And we'll also learn a little bit about the browser tab and the designs tabs that are over on the right hand side. And so um, what we'll do to get started is just um, point out up at the top that this is where you've got your kind of like open and save and new design kind of tools, right? And if I click on new design, it opens a new empty workspace and it'll be called design two or three or four or whichever is the next one in kind of or, you know, order. And so this is an empty workspace. And of course, you could add a design to your empty workspace by um, either using the design tab on the right hand side to, you know, find some embroidery and click and drag to add the embroidery to your workspace. And how that is really the difference between using open. Because if I choose open, I will open an embroidery design, um, whereas when I use the design tab, I'm adding a design to my workspace. And so here I've got a workspace with two designs that have been kind of merged together. And if this was what I wanted to embroider, um, I could save this, right? So right now it has no name at all. If I come up top and I click on save, it opens a box. It'll allow me to browse to like any sort of folder location of my computer. And I can give it any name that I want to. And um, it sort of defaults to saving to the Floriani WAF file. And that is the kind of best file to save for when you want to come back to it and make edits later. So sure, give it a name, call it, you know, anything you want. Design 3 is fine. And then save it as a Floriani WAV file. Now, sure, our embroidery machines don't actually stitch Floriani WAV files. And so if you were ready to embroider this design, then um, instead of clicking save, which will simply save it back to the same folder that I've already saved it with the same name, I'll need to use the file drop down menu where I also have options for new and open and save, but I also have save as. And so if I choose save as, then it gives me the box where I can choose where I want to save it to. And so if I look in my this PC, I might have a USB drive that I could save it to. And so I could pick my USB drive as the destination and then I could change to any different number of formats. And so these are all of the different machine formats that you could save to. Um, for example, PES is Brother or Babylock. JEF is Janome. You've got the VP3, VP4 family for the Viking FAF. And essentially we've got commercial formats like DST. Um, all of these are different embroidery formats. Um, and so choosing any one of them would make a copy of the design in that format. And so it's not wrong to save um, both formats, you know, the design in WAF and the design in this PES or whatever format you want to pick. Well, I guess I better put them, put the design somewhere where um, I'm allowed to save it to. So um, if I put it on my USB stick and then I change it to PES, then now I have a, you know, USB stick that I can remove from my computer and take over to my embroidery machine and um, obviously sew it out. But if you want to make any edits to it, then it's best to go back to the WAF file. And that is because the WAF file will include information that's simply not stored in a PES, like the actual sort of shapes or any information that you provided, like what kind of underlay or what kind of stitch that you wanted. And so essentially those are the sort of most important format to save is always the Floriani WAF. But of course, we also need to make our stitch formats. And so you end up making two. You know, you'll have a WAF file and you'll have a PES file. Um, but when you're done and you've closed it and you've embroidered it, but then you need to make edits again, um, when you say open, it's best to go back to the Floriani WAF file. 
Um, it's not wrong to open up the PES file, but you may have lost some of the information, especially if you use text or anything like that, because the text would be saved within the WAF file. And when you save your embroidery design with text to uh, PES, the stitches, you know, the letters become stitches. And so this is why it's important to always save your WAF, because the WAF will have the text with the font, and you can easily change the font from just, you know, opening it up and selecting the text. And so this is why we talk about save the WAF and then make your stitches, you know. And, of course, we you can save the stitches too, but then save both files. So you have both. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is if I click File and Save As right now, I could also choose to make this design into an image like a JPEG. And in that case, what I'm really making is kind of like a graphical image of our design. If I click Save, it'll um, tell me the size of the dimensions of, you know, of, the, of the image. And essentially, um, we made a JPEG image of our embroidery design. If I say Open right now, and I look in the folder, see there's the design as a WAF. But there's also the design as a JPEG. And so on that note, open is not just for embroidery designs. Open is also for images. And if I click on this JPEG and I click open, the software will open that picture. So it's not the actual embroidery stitches, although it looks like it. It's really just the pixels, you know, the graphical image of your embroidery design. Now you can email it to your mom or your friends or your client and say, how does this look? Are we ready to proceed kind of thing? So yes, you can use Floriani to save a JPEG and also open a JPEG. A lot of times people want to um, open an image to use as a backdrop to create embroidery from, you know, and if you have some kind of an image that you want to work from, you can simply select it and choose open. Um, now, once you open an image, uh, it would be the backdrop tool that you would use to be able to interact with that. In other words, if I click on the backdrop tool, I can resize that image or, you know, do any of the things that you can do with an image, like make it lighter a little bit. Um, or you can right click and use the menu to, you know, change the image or even just delete it and take it out of your design. And um, so another way to add a backdrop, because so you can click open to open JPEGs um, or SVG. So really any file that Floriani can open, you can use the open button to, to sort of bring it onto your screen. Um, that said, if it's an image that you're looking for, you can also use the backdrop tool. And when you click on the backdrop tool, it allows you to um, browse through your computer to find an image to use as a backdrop. Um, these are the ones that kind of come with the software, and so you can choose those. But you can choose any image that you want to. Just notice that when you bring in a backdrop, whether you open it or you use the backdrop tool, it's simply um, a backdrop image. In other words, there's nothing in my sequence view, right? JPEGs don't come in with shapes. They come in with pixels, and so um, when you open the JPEG, it simply becomes part of the background, and um, it's not really selectable unless you click back on the backdrop tool to kind of open it again. And so really this is a little bit about open and save, and um, I wanted to point out that the difference between clicking on open and using the designs tab is... If I, um, for example, if I open up a design of a JPEG, then my tab at the top says the name of that JPEG. If I click on open, whatever I open, if it's an embroidery design, then um, the tab at the top will be the name of that design. And if I make any edits to it, like add some text or change some colors, um, after I've changed the color, all I have to do is click save to save it to the original file location with the same name. If I want to change the location or change the name, I need to choose File and then Save As. And that allows me to pick a different location, like put it on a USB memory stick, or um, change the file name or change the file type. And currently, we have an embroidery design on our screen that's called Baby Whale and is saved into a folder on my computer. If I go over to the browser tab, I can point this at any folder on my computer. 
and then look at the designs that are in that folder. And so when I find these designs, if I click and I drag, I'm adding this cupcake to the design that's already called Baby Whale. And so you can add as many designs as you want to to your you know design to make um, you know some kind of a layout. But the idea is that when you drag from the designs tab, they add to your existing workspace. And that's different than clicking on open. So if I click on open and I browse to that same folder that has those very same designs in it, and I click on um, you know, open any one of these designs. This design has a name and a location. And when I click open, the program knows the name of that file and the location of that file. So that if I click, you know, for example, um, file and save, it's going to save it to the same location or at least know where that is. And if I choose file and save as, it'll allow me to choose any location that I want to and any sort of uh, file format that I want to. So um, that is the kind of difference between when you open a design, the software has, you know, knows that it's called Baby Whale and where you opened it from. Um, but you can go to your designs tab to open designs. It just doesn't open the design per se as much as it adds the design to the current workspace that you're working on and so you can build your own kind of design layouts by merging them together to create a combined design and then um, if you wanted to save this well I don't really want to click save and have all of these things added to my baby whale design so really I meant to go file and save as and give it a new whale a new name you know baby whale with stuff and then I could save that as a WAF and a PES, you know, and I could save both formats. And so that's a little bit more about um, opening and saving designs using the Floriani software.